Brothers Gaming. Hello, folks, and welcome to a brand new episode of Bub Brothers Gaming playing Rogue State. I'm your host, Ethan. And yes, I already said Rogue State. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, this game is. I don't know, it's just been kind of sitting in my uh, library. I saw it a few weeks ago, bought it, and totally forgot about it. Uh, played it some this weekend, and it's actually a really awesome game. Um, so I'm just gonna get it started here. So we... <laughs> I'm just listening to this music, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know what, I'm gonna actually go... I'm <laughs> sorry, this music is so... <laughs> This music is so distracting. I usually go with Parik because, I don't know, it's just a name, Middle Eastern name that comes to mind, last name. Um, anyway, so let's start it up. So I think this time I'm actually going to go hard mode. I don't have a trouble with normal usually, usually, uh, but we're going to get going here. All right, here we're we go. We're going live in three, two, one. For those just joining us, we are fortunate to have an audience today with our glorious leader. Excellency, last week we experienced the conclusion of the trial of the tyrant King Solomon with his execution scheduled for next Friday. With the Great Revolution finally concluded, what will the future political structure of the People's Republic of Bisenji finally look like? Well, Zara, Vague promises. King Salman was a corrupt and sadistic man. Under his rule, our people served while he sold away our most sacred objects to pay for his own luxuries. Hundreds of thousands of souls died under his tyranny, Yet he was tolerated by the American imperialists. His death will give us closure, but our work is only just beginning. The people's revolution is never really over. We must rebuild this country from the ashes, reform it. The Revolutionary Council has put me in charge of the transitional government for the next five years to maintain order while a new constitution is drafted, one that meets the needs of all the people. Many were expecting your brother, Farouk, would be named by the Revolutionary Council as the interim leader of Besenji. What role will he have in the transitional government? Farouk is popular, to be certain, and was a fellow patriot of the revolution. He will be given an appropriate role in my cabinet. It is often said that the Americans are suspicious of our transitional government, and that you face a great deal of pressure from domestic interests seeking reforms. Our first priority is, of course, reconstruction. The American imperialists are of no concern at this time. Governance is not an easy task, but I assure the people that we will build a stronger Basenji together. Thank you again for your time, Excellency. It is a pleasure, Zara. All right. <laughs> oh, I love this game. So basically what happened is you play as a leader of a nation who uh, basically, you know, uh, threw off the reins of the old dictator, dictatorial guard in the Arab Spring. So it's 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 actually a very unique premise for sure. So let's do this. So this guy, this is your brother, and he apparently is just really pissed off that you are the leader, not him. Which, if if it was set in place that he was supposed to, you know, be in charge, I understand that. I guess I just outmaneuvered him <laughs> politically. Sorry, Mr. Trotsky. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, history joke. Anyway, so whatever you, you have to put him in your cabinet because he's popular. But uh, you have to. So anyway, so I put him in as intelligence minister because all he can do is really screw up the spying agency, which isn't that big of a deal. Anyway, so let's get started. So. Uh, basically, from this room, you can make a bunch of different decisions, whether it be infrastructure, policies, calling, you know, local leaders, like neighboring leaders, 
And then over here is your situation room, which is where you control your military. We'll get into that in a bit. You have your newsletter, you have your encyclopedia in case you want to read up on the culture of your uh, neighbors and what has happened in this country in the past. Your neighbors is are randomly generated, so that's always really interesting. Uh, oh yeah, and then the treasury, which sets the tax rate. So let's get started. Excellency, my name is Tariq Badur. Hello, Tariq. As parliamentary chief of protocol, it is my duty to ensure that your instructions reach our parliamentarians. I trust you have settled into your new office. May I offer some suggestions on our first steps to restoring order to Bajinji? No, because I've been through this tutorial. But stay around. I no, like you. but please stay in case I have any questions. As you wish, Excellency. <laughs> it's kind of nice to just tell Tariq, who's a very nice man, just to be like, go away. Anyway, so let's answer her phone. One of our neighbors are calling us. Greetings, Your Excellency. I am General Khalil Sadi Abu Jamal. And on behalf of Tajikistan, I wanted to be the first to welcome the liberation of the People's Republic of Basanji from the tyranny of the Solomon family. Hey, thanks. The Solomon regime was a threat to the whole region. That is why we provided your rebellion with the weaponry and training necessary to overthrow the tyrants. Once the transitional government has restored Basanji's infrastructure and industry, let us work towards restoring our trade relationship. Do not hesitate to contact me if there is any way Tajikistan can be of assistance to you. Aww. Thank you for your call. I am certain our two great nations will work together to bring great prosperity to the region. There is much work to be done, but I am grateful for your country's support. Awesome. So I also unlock some achievements, one of which can tell jokes. So let's do that. A woman has twins and gives them up for adoption. One of them goes to a family in Egypt and is named Amal. The other goes to a family in Spain and they name him Juan. Years later, Juan sends a picture of himself to his mother. Upon receiving the picture, she tells her husband that she wished she also had a picture of Amal. Her husband responds, but they are twins. If you've seen Juan, you've seen Amal. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> I love it. Oh, awful jokes are the best. Um, yeah, so let's discuss the issue. So when you're talking with your neighbors, um, one second. Okay, sorry, everyone's texting me. Uh, <laughs> so when you're talking to your neighbors, you have to be careful because, okay, so when you look at a guy like this, you, th I would assume secular dictatorship, right? Well, probably a dictatorship, probably doesn't like Western imperialism, probably, but he could be traditional. I ran into that a few times. So let's just start Western imperialism. We are very worried about Western imperialism. Yes, yep. we should continue to take strong measures to assert the right to exist free from foreign interference. Nobody likes being told what to do. Um, let's see, we would, this we is would safe. We would like to deepen the long-standing cooperation that exists between our two nations. Of course, we are willing to work with all of our brothers in the region, so long as our objectives are aligned. Everyone likes that. Okay, so now i got to be careful. Usually my first way around until I get to know how they feel about religion... I like to take a middle route, so let's see. Not this one, that's very right wing. It's very traditional. Uh, this is kind of middle. This one, literal interpretations of the old wage, which I totally agree with, <laughs> do not make sense in this day and age, which I agree with, but uh, this is a good middle ground. While we may glorify the old ways, we must not fall victim to the trap of institutionalizing it into the state. We agree. Oh. Persecution is not an original feature in any religion, but it is always the feature of all religions established in the laws of the state. So he is a politically moderate, at least with religion. So that's good. That's good. They're more rational. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Okay. So at this point, I want to get the infrastructure rolling, so we'll do that. Right now we're during recon... Let me turn that down. <laughs> right now we're in reconstruction. So everything is completely destroyed, basically. So we got to rebuild the infrastructure. So restore water and sewage. That's done. Allow foreign aid workers. Always good to get in buddy buddies with the UN. So you can go two different ways here. You can do medical team for foreign aid workers, which lowers your healthcare costs by 3 million, which is okay. Um, 
or do the engineering team, which helps move supplies for the military, so they like that, and also lower the reconstruction time, so you can get going a lot quicker. So I'll just do this, because it's always good to keep your <laughs> military happy. It's always good to keep the guys with the guns happy, and then just rebuild power infrastructure. Okay, so now we're going to go back and set th the tax rate. Right now, I think it is at 14%. Yes, but you can get away with raising it to 16 just for the time being. Well, that's actually pretty standard. I used to, I don't know how I got away with it, but I would raise it up to 50%. My GDP didn't take that much of a hit and jobs didn't take that much of a hit either because I had so much flow coming in from other areas. It's like a snowball, I guess. <coughs> so... Let's click that off, and then now we'll set our policies. So from this screen, you can more or less set what your country does, like culturally. And also shows the four main groups, patriots, capitalists, fundamentalists, and liberals. Um, and these are American liberals, not European liberals. So they're like Democrats, basically. And the fundamentalists are basically Republicans. And But here, you know, it, it's a little weird because in our in the United States, like, you'll get some overlap, like, between patriots and liberals and patriots and fundamentals and capitalists and fundamentals and capitalists and liberals, so it, it gets a little confusing, but that breaks it down, basically, if you don't have any familiarity. But anyway, so, we're gonna set an extremely low minimum wage just to, uh, keep things rolling, because you can't just knock in a huge minimum wage or, you know, your economy collapses. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like shock treatment. Talk to Russia. Russia knows about that. 1990s Russia, at least. Anyway, so um, we're going to leave alcohol being where it is. Alcohol tolerance. Uh, licensed vendors of retail alcohol. You know, it's funny. Pennsylvania is this. Alcohol discouragement. It's illegal to sell retail alcohol. You know, my state in the United States, with exception to specially licensed Western style hotels and restaurants. Well, I don't know. Somewhere in between here, because we have state-run stores. Um... See, this that's pretty normal licensed vendors yeah that's pretty American anyway we'll keep those down for now we'll actually have some basic homeless relocation programs we'll have a free trade zone that's good for kickstarting your GDP and let's see voluntary pr prayer week leave will leave the same moderate kick up the uh prosecution pros, prosecution budget a little bit and I think we'll leave everything else the same how much would no, that's, that's too expensive yeah I think we'll leave the schools where they are at least for a time being until we get our GDP going have more taxable income then and more infrastructure right now we have no factories running so that's a problem so this oh wait I am right here <laughs> Whoops. So I like talking to this guy. Get to figure out, you know, how people are feeling. Do I still have the confidence of our parliament? Our generals are concerned that we are vulnerable to attack. You should consider purchasing more military units to ensure the safety of our country. Hmm. Okay. Right now we have three divisions of infantry. How is our international reputation? Relations with some of our neighbors are poor. You should reach out to them and try to find common ground. Okay. Any news from the polling agencies? How is the mood of our people? Excellency, with respect, you seem to be quite unpopular in liberal circles. Oops. The people are worried about human rights, health, education, and liberty. You should probably check your policies to ensure their needs are being met. Okay. All right, you can leave. You can leave now. As you wish, Excellency. Get out of here. What's his name? Anik or something? <laughs> Farik? I think it's Farik. Anyway, so let's call some of our neighbors. Wow, we're actually on pretty decent terms. So let's talk with Sana? Sanaya? See what they're. See if we can get some relations Thank going. You for taking my call. Uh, I'm gonna skip to telling the joke because some of them are pretty long and they don't do anything. Okay, so. Let's do this. He's wearing a suit, so I don't think he's too traditional as far as extremism goes. We must work together to counter extremism both within and outside our borders. While we understand your concerns, okay. this is not a priority for our state at this time. 
He's just that pathetic. That's fine. Um, uh, let's take the middle ground again. While we may glorify the old ways, we must not fall victim to the trap of institutionalizing it into the state. We agree. Ah, he's also a moderate. Institution is not an original feature in any religion, but it is always the feature of all religions established in the laws of the state. I agree. So, yeah, I'm not going to trade anything with him yet Apology. because my infrastructure Goodbye. isn't done. But that is that went pretty swell. So, we used their turn. So, now we have a transitional period where we have to make a decision. Excellency, Benji officials have discovered a wreck of an ancient wooden exploration vessel off the coast of Benji. The wreck appears to be at least 600 years ago. Uh and may be an ancient Chinese treasure ship. Wow, this is a glorious find for the scientific and uh, historical community. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I either give it to everyone and make literally everyone happy in the foreign, our neighbors, United States, United Nations, or I just throw it into the treasury. Um, Let's just do that, because we're in reconstruction right now. We need all the money we can get. All right, so. We have a little bit more money to throw around now. Let's build up our infrastructure. Restore financial services. That'll not only add to tax revenue, but it will also make the capitalists happy. So, and also get those telecommunications going, which is always a big part. So now I have about $10 million per turn to throw around on top of the $276 million. So let's take a look at these policies. See if we can get a little bit more popular with the liberals and, well, patriots are going up, but the liberals have me concerned. So liberals like mass transit and they like a good school. And you know what? If you put your school all the way up, it not only increases your GDP, but increases UN relations, which is also somewhat important. So let's do a limited, let's do a limited uh, disaster preparation so we have some money set aside in case something bad happens. Let's also do some government-run casinos. So the capitalists are a little bit happier with us. Let's see. Once the GDP gets going, they'll be the capitalists will be happier with us. So I think we're about where we should be. Let's go over to the situation room and buy some infantry units. Because this is actually important. Um, let's do just. Let's actually just buy one. <laughs> and then just. I think we can just leave him. So, yeah, this is the. Basically, the uh, geography of the country. And there's our borders that we hold. But. Uh, so. I think I'll just leave those infantry in the center for now. Because I don't want to deploy them to any bunk. Uh, Borders. There we go. Because I'm afraid it might ignite tensions. Let's look at the newspaper. Oh, they talk about the treasure that we saw. Yep, they're noticing income tax increase. Um, okay. Trezakistan likes us. Good. Alright, so... I think... Let's see. Ah, let's, let's touch base with the U.S. Good day, Ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedules. Okay, so that's the end of that day. Excellently, a popular American documentary has just been released that portrays you highly sympathetically. Ooh. The documentary argues that most of the most of the gens. Gen Z's, holy shit, woes are a result of, get this, Western greed. <laughs> We're riding high on a wave of pro-Benji international sentiment. Might as well enjoy it. All right, yep. Everyone's approval goes up. This changes. This changes. That you endo. Okay, here comes the American uh, diplomat, ambassador, whatever. And more or less, you just BS with them. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is my pleasure. Ask him for help. <laughs> or, you know, let's, let's talk. Tell me, how are you enjoying our country? I have.
have always been passionate about Basenji and its people. I am very happy to be posted here. Well, for me, it is always a delight seeing you, Ambassador. The highlight of my day, even. You are too kind. Thank you, Your Excellency. Do it. Do it. Tell me, Ambassador. Do you have any insights regarding some of the other countries in the region? It's not really appropriate for Ooh. me to be spreading gossip about your neighbors. Hmm. Basenji's political situation is dire. I beg of you, please help me regain the support of my people. It's disappointing that you can't maintain control of your own country. Very well. I'll write an editorial in the newspaper in support of your so-called leadership. Okay. I should insult you, but... I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. Get out of here. We can chat again soon. Get out of here. Ugh, pants suits. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the policies. Okay, so we got Patriots on the upswing. Capitalists are still going down, but... I think the GDP will soon start turning around, which will be helpful. So let's build some infrastructure. See what our state industries are. Metal and... Uh, what is that? Media? Yeah. Okay. Restore justice system. Okay, so at this point we can arrest everyone who worked for the old monarchists, or we can offer amnesty. I think we're just going to offer amnesty because, you know, let's put the, these people were just doing their job. Just trying to go with the status quo. So there we go. With a system justice and with a justice system in place, the wounds of the revolution can finally start to heal. Congratulations! You now have access to three uh, new state infrastructure purchase categories. Okay, so at this point, I'd like to invest in trade. So let's do that, and then build an American hotel. Brings in money and makes Americans like us. And. And just do three or another million a turn for tourism. And let's see. Let's see. Let's do this. Just to have it. Riot police are useful in case something bad happens. Oh, so now we have resources, so let's start trading. So this guy called Stibs. He helped us. Thank you for. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about we want to work with you to advance human rights and freedoms in the region. We agree on this. Hey, there you go. To recognize these pressures with let's talk trade. All right. Ooh. Well, media's looking a little rough. <laughs> so. Are you interested in negotiating? Let's sell that with this guy since he likes us the most. Media and entertainment. Taking into account our positive. Okay. 10 million a turn, not bad. And let's also trade precious Are you metals. Interested in negotiating a trade? Taking into account. All right, we made out pretty good. So next turn we'll have like 20 some million dollars to throw around per turn, which is good. I also like to invest in a dam. Destroys the local environment, but it brings in like 20 million dollars a turn, which is totally worth it in my opinion. I would like, I don't know, invest in like nuclear power or something if I had the option, but okay, so let's turn that up a little bit. So there's some disability grants. Make them happy. Turn up the ch transit system. That's good. How are we doing on GDP? That, that takes a little bit to get going, but we're getting there. We're getting there. See, that's up, but that counters that, and then we got that as well. So it'll be good in a while, eventually. And everything else looks to be doing good. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, that's all we have anyway. Ooh, after seeing. Ugh. I don't want to spend 200 million on planes. Uh, fancy estate. I don't want to get the military pissed at me. Let's just do that. <sighs> well, we're not in debt, so that's what matters. <laughs> um, okay, so, I'm trying to think.
can't do anything with infrastructure right now. Let's look at Parliament. How are they liking us? Well, we're doing pretty good. We got some liberal unrest, unfortunately. Let's see. It's 55 will be there. 56, I think, will be there as well. Let's see. 55. Ooh, that's not this. That'll be there. But not fundamentalist. Hmm. Well, I can't really switch that around too much. Maybe we can have some turns in between. So anyway, let's go to the next turn. Unless... Let's call Sania. Sania? Sania? I don't know. Thank you. Let's see. We would like to deepen the long-standing cooperation that exists. So you just basically say this, and they like it. Of course, we are willing to. Uh, let's do the UN. We believe the United Nations is essential to preventing conflicts in our region. The United Nations has failed to prevent regional conflicts to date. Tell me, what do you foresee changing in the future? Yeah, he see, he's not angry, but he he just is like. Mm. You know, I'm skeptical. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. So, once you get a certain amount of resources in, see, we have media products and we're exporting them, so that makes the Patriots a little bit happier with us. But we can trade for these other things. We have, what, precious metals, so we would have to trade for both goats and textiles, I think? Or plastics and... Uh, Plastics and microchips. <laughs> uh, electronics, I believe they call it. Anyway, so let's look at a regional map. I want to show you this, guys, before I ended the episode. Once my foreign minister really likes me, I can start selling weapons to people. <laughs> which it makes you happier with that ally, but if they're at war with someone else, it makes them absolutely hate you. You can also build an oil pipeline, which is great, until they go to war and then you have to rebuild it. But I can't build it yet because my trade... Or, uh, my foreign service minister does not like me that much yet. So anyway, so at this point we're gonna cut things off. This has been Ethan playing Rogue State. Definitely recommend you give this boy a shot. We're gonna keep this going for this week. Anyway, this has been Ethan playing Rogue State on Bob Brothers Gaming. And, uh, we'll catch you tomorrow.